Hey, this is Mikey Borup, and I want to show you my brand new preset. Now, this is a vignette preset, and where I got the inspiration for this was I was on a website, um, aescripts.com, and I found this plugin for After Effects and Premiere. Now, this is a plugin, not a preset, so it works a little bit differently, um, but it's $25, and it was a vignette. It had lots of customizable uh, features to it, but, but still, it was just a vignette. So I thought to myself, you know what? I could make this vignette in After Effects with all of the built-in plugins and then create a preset and then give it away for free. And that's what I'm doing. So if you want this plugin, this is what I want you to do. I want you to first subscribe to my channel. I love teaching about After Effects. I put out these tutorials every once in a while. And then you also I put out some free stuff like this. So please subscribe to my channel. And then what I want you to do is in the description, and you can see I have a link to where you can download this. So just download it, install the preset, and you can use it. Okay, let me show you how it works. I've got my footage right here already in After Effects. This is a giant potato. I'm from Idaho, and we eat big potatoes. So let me apply my preset. Animation presets, user presets, Mikey's vignette. I drag and drop it on, and immediately you can see there's a vignette. And the defaults look pretty darn good. But, of course, we can go in and change all these options. So how I have this set up is there's these effects that I've renamed Ignore, Ignore, Ignore. And just do that. Ignore them. Um, I've got some expressions that are linking everything together. And you don't want to play around in there and you know screw things up. So just ignore those. But up here, everything that says a vignette in front of it, these are the controllers. So let's start at the top. Vignette Center. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's You can choose the center point of the vignette. Vignette radius. It's how big or small the circle is for the vignette. Vignette feather. It's how soft the edge is. Okay, right here. Vignette width and height. You know, this is easier to see if I bring the radius in and the feather in so you can see exactly what's going on. I can change how wide or how tall the circle is. That's pretty cool. And the feather back out again. Okay. And then the color. Say I don't want it to be black. Say I want it to be blue. And now that it's it's a, got a blue tint to it. Now, this next one, opacity. I can change how, how intense that is. So I can dial that back down just a little bit. Now this last one, vignette mode slider. What this does is it slides it between multiply and screen transferring this color on. So for a vignette that you want to be white, it's not going to it's not going to show up because of the way the multiply transfer mode works. But if I switch this over to 100%, which brings it over to the screen side of things, then you can see there the white shows up. And if I were to change that back to black, it doesn't show up because it's now in the screen mode. So when it's at the 100%, everything from 50% on gray up will show better. When it's over on the 0%, that's when the black shows up. So depending on what color you wanted to use, I've got this mode slider so you can switch between modes. And that's really it. Now, of course, these are all keyframeable, so I can change this over time. So for example, keyframe the radius, go forward in time. Bring that radius down in. Oh, that's the feather. Bring that radius down in. And then that will animate over time. Okay, that's it. That's Mikey's vignette, absolutely free. Click on the link in the description, download that. I encourage you, please subscribe to my channel, share this video, give it a nice thumbs up, and um, enjoy the preset. And so, Mr. FT Vignetting Pro, $25 plugin, I'm really sorry. I'm sure it's a great plugin, and yours does work with Premiere. Mine doesn't. But yeah, try out my preset. Tell me what you think.
Thanks.